David Allen once said that your mind is for having ideas, not for holding them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a super cool way to quickly share any thoughts or anything right into Obsidian. Hello, my name is Darren. And in this channel, we talk about personal knowledge management and self-development. If you are interested in these topics, please consider subscribe. There are a lot of cool stuff that we're gonna talk about today. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey Siri, capture my thoughts. What's on your mind? Intermediate packet concept is the same as atomic note. Okay. There are four things you need to do in order to set up. Install Obsidian on your mobile devices, set up your vault in iCloud, set up your attachment folder, and install and set up iOS shortcuts. So the first thing and the easiest thing to do is to download Obsidian apps on your iPhone and iPad and be sure to set automatic updates because the app has been really good at updating new versions all the time. Now that we have the apps installed on iPhone and iPad, the next step is to make sure that those apps work together. And in order to do that, you have to save your vault in iCloud. For example, for me, I have a vault that is named after myself and is stored in iCloud. The next thing is to set up an attachment folder. And in order to do that, you go to settings, files and links, go down to the attachment section and select the name of your attachment folder. Once you set this up, all the attachment or the media that you put into Obsidian will automatically be stored in that folder. Like for example, here I have bear.png. It will automatically be stored in the attachment folder that I assigned. Next is to set up the iOS shortcuts. And there are two shortcuts that you have to install. First is to capture the voice into text. And the other one is to capture videos and convert it to something that is friendly to Obsidian. To download these shortcuts, go to the detail section in the videos and I have all the links available to you. You just have to click on these links and add this shortcut to your system. First, we're going to set up Capture My Thoughts shortcut and you can do this on a Mac or on an iPhone. The only thing that you have to set up is this place right here. Basically, this is the place where you store your daily note. So you click here, replace and map it to wherever your daily note is stored. Like for example, for me, it is stored in this page. Next, we're gonna set up the share media shortcut. And this one, you have to set up two places. One is the attachment folder. You click on the attachment and map it to wherever your attachment folder is. And the other one is the exact same one that you have just set up. This is the place where you store your daily note. And the last thing that I would like to show you is how to set up Alfred to work with Obsidian. To do this, you have to have paid version of Alfred, which is not cheap, but also not too expensive considering all the features that it has. Then go into the detail section in this video. I would have a link to download the Alfred workflow. So once you go into this link, all you have to do is download this file, go to the workflow section in Alfred, and then drag this file into Alfred. Once you have installed the workflow, the next thing is to set up the variables. Click the icon right here, put in the folder name of your daily notes, put in the name of your vault. And the last but very important thing is to get the vault path. And in order to get this path, you have to go to iCloud Drive, right click on the vault and click on copy path name. Once you copy the path name, you just have to paste it in here and then you are ready to rock. And now that we have everything set up, let's take a look at how to use each function. So let's start with the function that I find useful the most, which is capture my thoughts. And in order to trigger this function, there are two ways. You can use voice or you can use a home screen button. In order to use voice, you just said, hey Siri, capture my thoughts. 
I would like to add this text into a daily note. That's done. Okay, so that's done. Let's see. So if you go into Obsidian, voila, you will see that this note is added to the daily note. The other way to trigger this is through the home screen button. But first we have to add the button into the home screen. So you have to long press, click on details, and then add to home screen. Once you have it on your home screen, then you can just click on it and quickly add anything to it. And similar thing would happen if you go back to the daily note, you're gonna see that the thought or the note is added to the daily note once again. Next, I'm going to show you how to add images and text into the daily note. And the good news is this is the latest update from the iOS apps and it's a native function. So this is not through the shortcuts. So basically all you have to do is you just have to long press on the image that you would like to share. You click on share, click on obsidian. Then you have an option to either add to the current note or to daily note. And in this case, we would like to add into a daily note. Similar to adding images, you can add text and links from the article or from the internet. So let's say if I'm reading this article and I would like to share the link, all you have to do is go up to this share button and then once again, click on Obsidian. and the link would be shared in the daily notes. You can also share a piece of text and you just have to select the text that you would like to share, then click share, obsidian, and share into the daily note. This way you can later edit it, turn it into a literature notes or turn it into a permanent note. Next, I would like to show you how to share other media like video or sound into Obsidian. And this is a little bit tricky. You can do similar things that I showed you before, but the native function didn't seem to work so well as of now, but maybe they will upgrade later so you can try it out later on. But for now, I built an iOS shortcut that you guys can use and I think it works a little bit better. So all you have to do is long press on a video Click share and click on the iOS shortcut that we have just set up. And once everything is set and done, you can see that the video is now already embedded into the daily note. And similar to sharing a video, you can share voice recording as well. So let's say if I go into the voice memos and I record something. Hello, test one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now I would like to share this into Obsidian. I can click this three dots, click share media to Ops, which stands for Obsidian. I think the first time you do this, it will ask something like this. You just say always allow. Let's check at the daily note. You can see that the voice is now embedded into the daily note. Hello, test one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, and now last but not least, this is a function I use every single, at least work day, is to use Alfred to add some thoughts into my daily notes. So let's say I'm doing something else and I am not even open Obsidian at the moment and I have some thoughts. All I have to do is I trigger Alfred and I click J, which is the command that we map into the workflow. And then I just add something. Click enter. When I open Obsidian, it will automatically add this text into the daily note. And those are all the ways that you can quickly dump whatever is in your mind and dump it into the fleeting note so that you can later turn it into a literature note. Can, you can flesh it out. You can basically build something out of it and you will never forget anything important anymore. I hope you like what you've learned today. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave down in the comments below. And if you like what you've seen, please consider liking this video and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.